So hello, and today's video is all about basic staircase concepts in architecture. So you might have seen this type of diagram in architectural plans, and this is a representation of the staircase. So usually there's an arrow there, and you see a bunch of numbers for the number of steps. But uh, in this video, we're going to be discussing some core concepts, of course. And uh, sometimes the students or novice architects um, are not so familiar with staircases. And right now, I'm trying to decipher the number of steps needed for a 3.2 meter floor to floor residential. And here I'm, I'm making a diagram in determining this. So it, the middle part or the uh, halfway of this staircase has a landing. Normally staircases have a minimum clearance of about 900 millimeters or 0.9 meters. And railings have something between 850 to 950 um, millimeters or 0 0.9, 0 0.85 to 0.95. So right now, every step um, is in between has this uh, a thread or a depth of uh, 250 to 300 millimeters, and the riser or the stepped vertical step is roughly about uh, 150 to 185 millimeters. So here you go. So how do you determine this? So I have 3,200 millimeters or 3.2 millimeters is 17 enough. So uh, if you do a quick math of this, uh, it comes to 188 millimeters, which is out of the range that I just said. And if I do an 18 step type, that would be in the range that I, I like. So uh, to test this again, so I'm making another diagram, and this time it's a, a U-shaped type of uh, staircase. So normally this is from the uh, ground floor first, and I'm trying to count the number of steps. Okay, so by having a, this 18th step, the 18th step can be the second floor, finish floor nine. And uh, from deciphering from this, and um, <clears throat> since I'm using the formula I just stated with minimum and also, of course, that's something that's ideal, I can make a diagram as simple as this. The landing is in the middle. Here you can see that the, uh, I have a, some sort of a, a cut plane. So this cut plane represents the um, uh, something that you're cutting through the floor plan like the last three-fourths uh, going to the second floor. So that's why that cut needs to be there just to represent that this is the, I'm going through the staircase. So it's going above the view. Now, if you think about a staircase, we need to think about it as a three-dimensional thing or volume. And uh, we always need to do this because uh, of some headspace. Um, okay, so right now I'm trying to draw a diagram here representing a, a, to, to see the three dimensionality. Right now, here's the landing, as you can see in the middle, from floor to floor. So the second floor is in the, uh, represented there in that uh, line that I just indicated. And of course, this is the first flight of stairs that I'm trying to draw. And at the second floor, I'm making that diagram. And of course, this is the second floor um, cutout or the edge of that second floor. And usually, right here, there's always a void. Okay, normally this is unless you have a third floor. Uh, and something to keep in mind also is about headrooms. You should have a headroom of minimum. 2.1, but here in this case, if the ceiling is about the standard 2.7 meters, there's no problem. And this entire thing is the staircase volume. So you have to always remember to keep in mind that uh, staircases on the second floor also needs to have a space. 
But then, you know, on the second floor, uh, the drawing of the staircase, the same staircase, is uh, a bit different from what we just drew. On the second floor, you can see all the steps up to the first step on the ground floor. And it's represented as such. So to reinforce this concept, okay, so yeah, there I'm drawing an arrow going to indicate where you're going down. To reinforce this concept, okay, so it's like looking and cutting through the last one fourth of the second floor. And if you're looking at the ground floor staircase, it's like you're looking, to, uh, you cut out the the, la, the last uh, one fourth of the ground floor. So I'm just erasing some of the parts and you're looking down. So it's really cutting through the last one fourth of the staircase. And that's where you put the the cut. And here you go. So that's a representative of one staircase. So there are other types. Okay, so of course the last one we did uh, was, was the first two we already showed you, but uh, it could go straight. But you need to always remember that uh, as much as possible, you need to have a landing. And don't forget to put the words up or down. Uh, here's another example. May probably um, circular staircases are going to be in other uh, in another video because it's a bit more complicated than the regular staircase. But here you go with the linear types of um, staircases. Just the basic rules. And if you found this video very useful, please consider liking it and subscribing to the channel. It would help me a lot. Thank you anyway. See you next time.